Mother's name. Oh, I see you, Stacy. They better not do a criminal background check. <laughs> Father or guardian, Bernard McCullough. Why you put that? It's your name, isn't it? Don't nobody know Bernard McCullough, but everybody know Bernie Mac. You gotta know how to use angles. That's the name of the game. I thought the idea was to get in on my own merit. And I don't want to use any angles. Honey, she's right. So, Nessa, what are you going to write your essay about? I don't know yet. It's supposed to be a personal statement. Well, you personally know Bernie Mac. A lot of kids can't claim that. America, you know me. And I don't usually like to play the Mac Man card, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'm desperate to get at least one of these kids out of my house. Yeah. Come on, let's go, dinner! Let's go! Come on, let's go! Hey, baby, drop it like it's hot. Come get it while it's hot. Honey, it smells fabulous, but I gotta go. I'm in a rush. What? Yeah, honey, I'm going to that sales conference at the Westin. Babe, I got a roast serve for six. Me plus four. Come on, now. Oh, and you know what? Don't wait on the kids. Jordan has play rehearsal, Brianna has soccer, and Vanessa's having a salad in her room. Fine. I eat dinner by my dog on self. I ain't got to worry about nobody belching at the dog on the table, chewing with their mouth wide open, and sitting up there, man, grabbing without asking. I'll have me a nice, quiet dinner in a civilized atmosphere. Then where you going? In front of the TV. Where else? I'm hungry. I need dinner. You ever think to call? Sorry. Here. You're a big girl. Eat it yourself. I hear that silly fan. You best not be my fuzz strips. What's up? Lord? Now, baby girl know better put aluminum foil in the microwave. She ain't got the sense God gave a pigeon. Sad or something. <laughs> Uncle Bernie! Uncle Bernie! He can't hear you. He's dead. But I need sour cream. I mean, he looks good. He did a good job. He looks so lifelike. Yeah, except his gums aren't flapping. I don't think I've ever seen him this quiet. It's actually kind of nice. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the Escalade. Oh. You don't need this where you're going. <sighs> Might burn up. Go ahead, take my chain. I'm still gonna haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is he dead? Should I poke him? No, he's still breathing. Uncle Bernie? Uncle oh, Bernie? He's coming to you, he's coming to you. What's wrong? Is he sick? Oh, angels. My darling angel. He's delusional. Oh. Mr. Mack! Mr. Mack! Mr. Mack, I'm gonna take your blood pressure. Oh. Did you see the angel? Pupils are slightly dilated. Oh. BP is 100 over 60. Mr. Mack. Angel. Oh. Mr. Mack, do you feel any pain? Do you feel the pain? Oh, the kids are angel. I know they were angel. He's in shock. Mr. Mack. Mr. Mack, do you know what day it is? Don't you know what day it is? It's my birthday. I've been reborn. I know what's going on now. They're gonna be the angels. I'm the angels. I'm telling you about America. They burn his angels. And it's my birthday. Where are you? Where are you? Honey, here we go. Here we go. Where are you? Honey, you okay? I'm fine. I just want to see him. Oh, look, there they are. Oh. Bernie, are you okay? I'm not. I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking. You're such a caring person. And thank you for saving my life. Did it hurt Uncle Bernie? He may be able to develop superpowers like Incredible Hope when he was exposed to gamma radiation. Have you experienced any changes? Like what? I don't know, like maybe his bedpan sticking to his butt like a magnet. <laughs> Oh, you're such a funny little lad. With a club of mine. Promise me you won't never change. Promise me. Okay. Promise you won't never change. I promise. Oh, my little angel. Don't hit me, Uncle Bernie. I didn't mean to kill you. Please don't be mad. No, 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 no. No, I'm not mad. You're my little angel. All of y'all are my angel. Y'all precious in my sight. Oh, that's sweet, honey. All right, someone's had a long day. Let's let your uncle get some air. Come on, honey, let him go. Let him go. Come on, lean on me, come on. I love you. I think that shock fried his brain. Okay. Yeah, deep fried. America, I could have died tonight. And what if I did? Who teach those kids? I'm the only father figure they got. And Jordan? It's only 13. Who's gonna teach him how to drive? And what about Nessa? I was supposed to be the one she watched to learn how to choose a husband. And I don't know if you know this, America, but she's not watching me yet. And baby girl, there's so much baby girl don't know. America, I don't have a moment to lose. Now, Jordan, each layer of meat is separated by the cheese. Turkey, Swiss, ham, Provolone, corned beef, mustard. Now there's a Mac sandwich right there. It's huge. <laughs> now remember, the key is mustard. Life is too short for cheap mustard. Hey, Nessa, want me to teach you how to make a Mac sandwich? Um, I'm good, thanks. Once you begin to say something to me? Goodbye. No, I love you. If I could teach you kids one thing, that's to always say I love you. Mm -hmm. Because you never know when you're going to get another chance. Mm -mm. I love her. And I love you too. I love you. You have a good.
knowledge. It, it feeds the mind and enriches the soul. Joy, when I think that I might have passed from this earth and never introduced you to the joy of cold trade, I, I just... Uncle Bernie, can I borrow some of your CDs? I'd like to continue enriching my soul in my room. Of course you can. Oh, thank you, Uncle Bernie. Oh, wait. That boombox in my room? The bass is broken in the left speaker. I guess I just can't hear the bass. What? Are you crazy? That's Charles Mingus, man. You got to hear the bass. You got to smell the funk, baby. Oh, we'll get you a new boombox. Oh, thank you, Uncle Bernie. You're welcome. Baby girl, baby girl, please wake up, baby girl. Wake up, wake up. Do you know where I keep my gun? You have a gun? Never mind, go back to sleep. Ooh, 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 Nessa, you got some mail here. Stanford University. Give it. Hold on, wait a minute. No. Join us, Stanford. Meet and greet. Can I Meet have... the representatives from Stanford University. Can... Seize the Stanford spirit. Oh, Nessa, you got a chance to score some points. Oh, we're going to this. We? Yeah. It says Vanessa Tompkins and family. I'm family. Can I have my mail? Mm-hmm. You know, Nessa, you could really learn a lot from me if you wasn't so hard-headed. I love you. I do. She's a tough nut to crack, America. But I'll get through to her, just like I got through to the boy. You're soaking it up like a sponge. No, I am not done. I haven't even started, so stop asking. I wasn't going to ask you about your essay. I wanted you to have this. What is it? I was watching Oprah. Last night she had a lady on there who was dying of cancer, so she made her daughter tape to share all her life wisdom. So this is my gift to you, just one of many. You watch Oprah? Religiously. All right, Nessa, here we are. Go on over there and introduce yourself. Go ahead. They're talking. They'd be talking to you if you go over there. Come on, I'll go with you. No. I do it by myself. What do I say? Just go over there and stretch your stuff and do the Bernie Mac five step. The what? The Bernie Mac five step. On the tape I showed you. You did watch the tape, didn't you? She didn't watch the tape, America. You remember that Bernie Mac card I told you about? Well, I'm about to play it. Nice to meet you. Oh, man, am I glad that's over. I love Let's go. OK, you get to the car. We'll use the bathroom. Perfect martini. But when you grow up, you use gin instead of soda. What's wrong, Jordan? Drink up. It's just I'm worried about losing you, Uncle Bert. I mean, what if I do? Who would teach me that? Uncle Bert, would you make me tapes? You want tapes? I'll make you a hundred of tapes. Jordan, I'll teach you everything I know. You would do that for me? I'll be honest. <laughs> you know, Bernie, but I'm just worried about the VHS format. I'm worried it'll cost the lead. 
think about that, George. I know. This is one of Oprah's favorite thing. Entirely digital. You can load them onto this and watch them forever. Oh, thank you, Uncle Bernie. You're welcome. Is this a 60 gig? I love you. Jordan's tape number 34, Boxers or Briefs, part one. How could you? How could I what? I talked to my guidance counselor. You went behind my back and pulled your I'm Bernie Mac routine. Why would you do that to me? That's I'm just trying to help. Well, I don't need your help. I don't need anything from you. Where'd you get that? Uncle Bernie gave it to me. Why? <laughs> because he's crazy. No, he's not. He's not? Then why does he walk around like this? When you poach an egg, don't use too much water. <laughs> Always trim your nose hairs counterclockwise. <laughs> oh, and low snail boat boy, Ashley ain't cute. What? I try to tell you. <sighs> this tape is for you, America. Parenting tip number one. If you want to be happy, don't have kids. You know, honey, I'm just saying I can help you with the essay. I'm a little concerned that you're kind of running out of time here. No, thanks. I'm not going to Stanford. Everybody knows I'm not smart enough to get in, so why pretend? Forget it. Oh, you don't believe that? And you know we don't believe that. Then why did Uncle Bernie go behind my back and practically bribe everybody to let me in? Hey. I don't know what your uncle did, but I know whatever he did, he did it because he believes in you. Yeah, right. You know what? Come with me. Come on. Come here, look at this. Your uncle has spent 30 hours making these tapes. Okay, now look. Moisturizing part one. You know there's a part two. <laughs> Small engine repair. Mm -hmm. Tipping. Why? See, look at that. <laughs> For my college graduate. Now, does that sound like someone who doesn't believe in you? Hey. Hey. Hey, you don't have to say anything. I wanted already told me you don't want to go to Stanford. But that's I really feel you can get in there. But if you don't want to write the essay, no worries. No worries. <laughs> Too late. I already finished it. Tell about the person who most influenced your life. So you wrote an essay about me? I don't know what to say. I don't know how much I... I know, I know. Please don't say it again. All right. All right. You know what? I think it's time for me to teach you how to fix a flat tire. <laughs>
But come on, it's still such a great time. I love you. I love you. You want tapes? Yeah, I want tapes. I just want to have to make you tapes. Really, you do that for me? You jumped my line. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tell you what I'm gonna do.